certainly don't have to remind you in the room that we as Reginians are immensely proud of our athletes and as a community we support them as they pursue their dreams of excellence. As a community we celebrate their victories and we feel the sting of their defeats. Tonight we're very pleased to enshrine seven more into the Regina Sports Hall of Fame. We tell their stories tonight, each one as interesting as it is diverse. I encourage you to sit back and enjoy these stories as each one of them contributes a thread to the very rich tapestry of the legacy of sports in our community. The Regina Sports Hall of Fame is about honoring the past and inspiring the future. And we are tremendously pleased to induct the following into the Regina Sports Hall of Fame. Len Antoniti and Kelly Hamilton, who go in together as builders in the sport of football. Nominated and inducted together for their work with Regina Minor Football, both men have served executive roles while implementing the system of 12 on, 12 off, to ensure that every team, ga every team gave playing time to all players. After playing and coaching several sports, Antonini joined the board in 1995, Hamilton followed in 2000. By 2013, Regina Minor Football had reinstated its non-profit status, had set up an office for its organizational purposes and storage of equipment, and had become financially accountable, making plans to develop players and properly divide teams while growing in 12 years from 400 players with 110 coaches and managers on 18 teams to an astounding 1,612 players with 341 coaches and managers on 42 teams, teams that also come in from nearby towns and cities. The two men were instrumental in helping get artificial turf onto liable field and continuing to make it a top-notch facility with grandstands, scoreboards, media booths, concession stands, and locker rooms. We are very pleased to induct Len Antonini and Kelly Hamilton into the 2013 Regina Sport Hall of Fame builders in the sport of football. Congratulations to the fellow inductees, Dick, Flo, Marlene, Jason, the Nationals, and Kelly. I'm honored to join these and the other 66 past inductees of the Regina Sports Hall of Fame. Thanks to the committee and Mike O'Donnell for nominating me and inducting us into the Hall of Fame. Mike and I go way back. We coached together in the 80s, and I honestly believe that uh, Mike was a huge influence on uh, my football coaching career and I appreciate it. I think Libel Field is a big part of the present RMF. Thanks to everyone that donated to make it possible. Uh, special thanks to the Drummond family. I honestly believe that uh, Gary's contribution was the catalyst that got the project going. Um, when we were building the second phase or the, the uh, bleachers in the uh, press box, uh, we were getting it done, but we were way over budget. I was fortunate enough to go for lunch with Roger and Roger Branfold and uh, Jim Hobson. And when we were done, the Rough Riders got off their wallet and uh, ended up paying to complete the, uh, the, that fit first phase of the bleachers. So we'd like to thank the Saskatchewan Rough Riders for their contribution. Yeah. It's a big wallet and it's hard for Hoppy to get off of it though too. I'd like to say thanks to the current board members who have uh, encouraged and supported our vision for RMF and Libel Field. This has enabled us to build our league and the facility. I'd also like to thank former board members like Hal Wilkie, Dave Gates, Bob Sisko, and of course, Lana Lancaster, or as most of you know her, Lana Mueller. I don't think she's here tonight, is she? Did she show up? And I don't know most of you know Lana, and I got a story about Larry He's a great friend of mine, her husband. You know, I used to blame Larry for my micromanaging. Years and years ago, I thought he said to me, Lenny, he says, if you want something done, do it yourself. Well, what he actually said to me was, if you want something done, don't get me to do it. <laughs> if you guys know me, you'll understand that one. Kelly, my friend. We played football together in high school. We were best friends until 2000 when I lied to him and I told him that the RMF president 
was a figurehead position and there was about three or four meetings a year. <laughs> it's been quite a ride. It's been 14 years and I have to say he's absolutely the best. Uh, we've never had any fights. Uh, so we, that kind of proves that we're not a couple. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, uh, he's probably the only person I could have done this with. You know, and at this time I have to uh, I mentioned the quiet support of his uh, lovely wife, Robin, uh, even through her really tough times. My family, there's a bunch of my brothers and sisters here, but I really want to thank my brother, Rob. Uh, Robbie's always been for me, been there for me, usually when I need someone to drink with at eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Luigi Silvano Antonini, he taught me so much. That was my dad and my life mentor. My daughter Amy, Section 28 Rough Rider season ticket holder, she's a true football fan. Can all be summed up in one short story, her tweet for Father's Day this year. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thank you for loving me more than you love football, which is a lot. <laughs> Campbell, my son, he's a pain in the ass. <laughs> the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. But I've had great joys watching him play, coaching him, and now coaching with him. He has the passion, and I, I'm expecting great things from him in the future. When I was eight years old, I was a water boy for the Crusaders. They practiced at Nine Block Garnet. I used to get the water from the corner of Montague and Third Avenue from the tap, if some of you guys had lived in the hood, if you remember that. I fell in love with the game. I've been involved ever since. I've played. I uh, coached, I worked for CBC and TSN. I've even officiated and, and actually asked Al, look, I was good. Like I was young, hey listen, I was young, I was smart, I knew the rules, I had a great feel for the game and at the end of the day I was a reasonable man. It took me three or four years to finally realize I didn't figure it, fit in with those guys. <laughs> I've sat on the board of directors with Regina Rams, Regina Ram alumni, RMF, and I've had opportunities to coach Team Saskatchewan, Team Canada. The year we got married, the week before the big day, I got home after winning the provincial championship with O'Neill. Sat there, looked at my wife. I said, I'm done coaching now, honey. Is there anything I can do for the wedding? <laughs> the day we brought Campbell home from the hospital, I went out and worked, worked a, a bingo for the Rams that night. You can ask Mueller. Through all this, she stuck by me. Kelly, my wife, believe it or not, I lied to her too. <laughs> 15 years ago, I told her, we're gonna build a bold stadium. It's gonna take me about 10 years. Well, it's not quite bold, and it's not quite done. Not only has she allowed me to pursue my passion, she has made football a passion of her own. Thank you, honey, I love you. Uh, and I'd like to thank everybody else for coming out tonight. First of all, I would like to congratulate uh, all the inductees to this year's uh, Hall of Fame. Uh, what an honour and privilege it is to be part of uh, your success and, and all the things that we've done as well. Uh, I want to thank Mike O'Donnell. Uh, as Lenny said, that Mike's been very instrumental in uh, you know, promoting Regina Minor football and I, I want to thank him for his nomination. And then you have to really thank the selection committee for uh, for giving this honor and this recognition to us. Uh, October 10th is now an even bigger day in our family. Uh, October 10th, 1987, my wife Robin and I got married. We are celebrating our 26th wedding anniversary today. She's had quite a battle over the last three years and it's home recovering from surgery. Uh, I'm very proud of her, uh, unbelievably proud of her, and happy to say that she is a breast cancer survivor. October 10th, 1933 was also a special day. Today, my dad is here and I wanna wish my dad, stand up please, Lauren, my dad is 80 years old today. 
very instrumental. Uh, he and my mom retired and are living out on Vancouver Island for the last 25 years, and Dad made the trip into Regina, especially for tonight's uh, induction dinner, so thank you very much. I think Lanny talked, to, uh, talked about all the people that uh, have sponsored uh, Regina Minor Football over the last few years and the businesses that have sponsored Regina Minor Football and the Libel Field Project. And uh, I just want to say thank you to all those people and businesses. Uh, thanks for believing in us. Uh, really, uh, without your support and your belief, uh, we really wouldn't have the facility that we have out there. And it means a lot to us, and I hope it means a lot to you guys as well. So. Uh, thank you to them. Uh, Lenny, uh, we also want to talk about past and present board members and volunteers of Regina Minor Football. So there's a group of people here. If you have ever been part of Regina Minor Football or part of Regina Minor Football right now, please stand up because you guys deserve a whole whack of recognition as well. So stand up, everyone. Come on, Minor, minor Football people. It's not just the Lenny and Kelly show. There's a lot of people that have worked their butts off over the last 50 years uh, to make Regina Minor Football what it is today and we're just happy that we can continue to be part of it. That's really the nuts and bolts of it. Uh, I really want to thank my wife Robin and my son Lee and daughter Kennedy. Uh, when you do volunteer work such as this, you really have to rope your family into uh, situations and opportunities that they really don't have much choice. Uh, helping out in the office or helping out in the equipment room. Uh, I know that uh, my kids have contributed countless hours and in one way it's great for us to spend some quality time together and other times it's uh, we're dragging them away from uh, something that they'd rather be doing. Uh, my daughter Kennedy who has worked with weigh-ins uh, over the last few, you know, for quite a number of years at first she was a little disgruntled and then as she started to get to be the same age as some of the boys coming every night, um, it was really easy to bring her down. So what it's done for them is it's made them realize what it means to give back. And I think that really means a lot. Uh, something that you, you know, you can't really offer to kids unless you really show them uh, by doing it, not by telling them. On the outside, Robin thinks football people are all nuts. She's like, what's the fuss about all this football stuff? Uh, but I think deep down she really understands both Lenny and I have a passion for this sport and a passion for growing this sport. And she's been unbelievably supportive. Uh, my wife's initials are RMH. And she continues to joke that RMF comes before RMH all the time. <laughs> Um, I have uh, some family members here, uh, a few of my brothers here, my sister is here. Uh, I've got some family and friends here as well. Um, for the most part, I have to apologize to them because usually the conversation at family events and everything, RMF is definitely going to come up and, uh, you know, I apologize for bringing it up, but it's going to happen for the next 25 years, so get used to it. Uh, and last but not least, I really want to thank Lenny and his family. Uh, Lenny's son Campbell is my godson, uh, very, very proud of that kid. Uh, Amy has done some wonderful things, traveled the world, uh, what a great girl she is. Uh, but Lenny and I go back about 40 years. Uh, as he said, uh, you know, we went to high school together. We have thousands, literally thousands of stories, but one or, only two, one or two are only clean enough to tell tonight. Our, our lives have paralleled in many ways. We are born three days apart, okay? Our moms were in the maternity ward at the Great Aunts Hospital together. Lenny's mom had so many kids, they ended up uh, opening up her own apartment right in the maternity ward. <laughs> and my mom ended up having so many kids that we used to rent the apartment from them. <laughs> we went to school together, we played on the Rams together. We never missed a road trip in five years playing with the Rams. We roomed every trip on the road. Lang was a huge gambler. Loved to take the milk money from Greg Feger. <laughs> and he did. So we always had free Chinese food every Friday night in the hotel on road trips. Thanks, Lenny, uh, for adding the few extra pounds to my uh, workload. Uh, when you really think about it, 
uh, we've done so many things together. We played hockey together, shinny together, slow pitch together. As he's talked about, we've done contracts with CBC Sports and TSN. We continue to do that today. Uh, we've worked uh, more than 18 great cups together with TSN. We've done the skins golf game. We've done curling. We're both professional firefighters, both for more than 23 years. And while I've got professional firefighters, I want to thank uh, my four shift guys uh, for uh, coming out here tonight and supporting me. Uh, we've got the, uh, some members of the union here. I tell you what, uh, firefighting, both Lenny and I, it's the best job in the world. And we wouldn't be able to do the kind of work that we do for minor football without that kind of job. So I'm very thankful. It's, uh, I call it, it's like being a professional athlete again. I just don't know when my games are. <laughs> but Lenny and I have had quite a friendship. And boy, uh, our work with Regina Minor Football has just uh, lengthened that. As he said, Lenny recruited me. He said it was a figurehead position. It was only four or five meetings a year. I said, after three years, we got twice as many teams. We got 12 on, 12 off. We got zoning issues, you know, all these different bylaws that we put. We're up to our ass in alligators. And he goes, so, do you hate me yet? <laughs> I said, no, but Robin does. <laughs> uh, going back to high school years, I thought it was really weird. Lenny dated all of my old girlfriends. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> And it was, it, it just seemed like, you know, if I broke up with a girl next week, Lenny's dating her, you know, and then, you know, however many, like, Lenny's dating her. And then, but the only girl that I, that he dated that I never dated was his wife of today. And guess what her name is? <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> like, isn't that weird, don't you think? <laughs> he went out, he loved me so much <laughs> that he went out and married a Kelly. And in fact, Kelly's birthday is two days after mine. So all three of us are born within five days of each other. You can't write like that. <laughs> but I tell you what, I, I really want to uh, thank Kelly as well. She's not only here as Lenny's wife, um, but she's a great friend to, to me, and, and she's been an inspiration and a workhorse for Regina Minor Football and a supporter of Regina Minor Football. She's worked at the, as an office manager. She's worked as a board member, but she's, most things she's worked at as a love of football and a supporting wife. She's a true football fan with a great common sense, and she's helped us out immensely along the way. So I hope that when she sees that name Kelly up on that wall of fame, I hope that she feels a bit of that is her. The sport of football has been very good to me and to my family. All I've been trying to do is give back a little. What we've tried to do is provide a league where as many kids as possible can learn and play the game of tackle football. I think it's really unique that Jason Claremont is being inducted at the same time as us. With all due respect to Darren, or with all due respect to Jason, he's had an unbelievable career. But it would be very easy to organize a league where all of your kids go to the show. So what we've done, I think, over the past is we've allowed for the kids that get to say, I got to play with Jason Claremont, or I got to play with Jordan Sisko, or I got to play with all the guys that made it to the show. Because we're not only trying to provide an opportunity for the good kids to play, but we're trying to provide an opportunity for everybody to play. And I think that's where we, that's the reason why we've had this, the kind of success that we've had. Uh, so before I say goodnight, one of the traditions that we have now that I've taken over the equipment manager job as well with Regina Minor Football is there's gonna be a helmet cleaning bee on November 29th. <laughs> from seven o'clock till nine o'clock. It's free beer and pizza. I really hope that all of you guys can make it. And Nikki, what's the magic word? It's many hands make light work, baby. Thank you very much, everybody. That's a real honor and a real privilege to be part of this tonight.